hello you to the tube i'm never gonna explain myself you guys already know once i got this bonnet on or you see this background and i go on a weekday you guys already know i have school and i'm not about to be beating my face to just take it off right after this video i have nowhere to go like uh, no anyway thank you guys so much for um thank you guys so much for let me take out my laptop so we can know exactly how many subs we're at and i got my bonnet on because halfway on because like the ends of my hair is nice but the top of it is like a little scary let me see i was playing the sims oh if you guys think i should do maybe a, um like the sims um lp kind of thing i'll do it but i have to get my town developed first and i'll start it i'll start it up but anyway thank you guys so much for come on <gasps> we hit 2,000 subscribers 2,005 subscribers you guys 2,005 subscribers like this channel grows so I gained 1,500 subscribers in the last 28 days and 73,000 views like if only you two eight months on videos I've been making some bomb videos anyway as you guys can tell from the title of this video and by this bag I'm gonna be unboxing my new iPhone 8 Plus in the limited edition color red. Well, it's not really a full unboxing because the guy at the store did have to, he took my phone back. So it's give me this phone and not set it up, like not make sure it's working under Sprint or whatever. That's why I have Sprint. But it took me a hassle to get this phone. I called their place on Monday asking them, can I get, is there an iPhone red available? They said there's one more left. So I went on Tuesday to get the phone they were like um it was a hassle for me to get the phone like every time they would scan that last phone it would say not available purchase i'm like yo what is wrong with it then they called different stores and they said we're gonna have one that's a demo and they're arguing saying there's no red demos da, 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 da. just to find out it was demo so i had to pay um for overnight shipping for them to send my phone so i could get it today which is wednesday but this is it Nothing but blah 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 on here. Hmm. Just nonsense. Okay, let's get into the phone. There's no special peely here because the guy took it off. He's so rude. And my camera. Let's try to turn on the light because we have too much white light coming in from my my window. So this is the box. I got 64 gigabytes. Standard iPhone box. This imaginary, this imaginary peel, the sticker off. Wow. Wow. You open up the box. You get the design by Apple. It's informational stickers you guys normally get. Let's take those out. And if you guys don't know what product red is, Apple donates money from each of you guys each of purchases with the red products and they send the money to um to a to support hiv and aids so this it has a card about what it says and it says in partnership with red apple will contribute a portion of your iphone purchase to the global fund to support hiv slash aids programs and help deliver an aids free generation learn more donate at www.red.org that's that that's pretty cool though, they donate some money to organization. And they have like a little how to use the phone. This white light is... Okay. That's better. Welcome to iPhone. I mean, I had a 7 Plus, so it's pretty much the same thing besides wireless and the new camera. Now it's just too dark on me. But it might be too bright for the... Okay, this should be pretty good, I think. No, it's not. It's good for me, but not for my phone. So, then it's a little, this little piece of paper. iPhone user guide, battery, Apple one year warranty. Okay. Then two Apple stickers. I kind of wish that they were white. I mean, they are white, that they were red. But I don't use these anyway. Like these just, I'm gonna put them on my laptop. Just to put it on my laptop. 
but I don't use them at all. Like I really have like a probably like a stack of them from my iPads, my phones over the years. Like did the um I think the Apple Watch came at one. My laptop, Apple Watch, if it came at one. I have all of those in my room back at home. I still have my, my new iPad box in my closet and I didn't touch the Apple stickers. But as you got some waiting, here is the phone. Let me just let me just hold it up for you guys. Let me block this part. The sensor. Where is it at? The sensor. I don't think it has a sensor on this phone. Maybe I never had a black phone before, so maybe there really isn't a sensor on this phone. But as you guys know, my phone's already activated, so everything's already on it. And this is the front. But we're not gonna get to the phone just yet. We'll put it to the side. And if you guys already have an iPhone, you guys know it comes with this is a terrible unboxing. I'm not one of them tech people. Like, I don't have good lighting. Like, what is this? This must be, I'm going to title this ghetto iPhone, red iPhone 8 plus unboxing. Or iPhone, red iPhone 8 plus unboxing ghetto version. Mm, yeah, the ghetto version. But, oh my god. Like, let me just change the lighting real quick. There you go. So, it comes with the regular AirPods with the, with the USB thing attached to it. And the dongle that adapts your your iPhone to like maybe your Beats or maybe like a USB for your car. Comes with a charger box. And it comes with a USB um, charging thing. I have a lot of these honestly. I'm probably not going to touch this new one. Actually I might, touch, I might use this new one. I might just use this new one for my phone only because I feel like over the years, me using them Chinese chargers, no offense to Chinese people, but my phone has been at, yo. That 7 Plus was dying on like 20% and it will come back alive and then die. It will come back alive on like 5%. Like how, how does, how does that even happen? If you guys have the same problems, comment down below because I feel like maybe it's the Chinese chargers or it's just Apple ruining your phone so you could go out and purchase a new one. Cause I got that phone December 2016. Well, that's it for the box so i'm gonna close it on up Put everything back <gasps> no and put it in the box even the red apple logo that's pretty fire but are you guys ready for the reveal ah! as you guys know the iphone 8 is glass back and glass front so what that means is that it's harder to break but at the same time on the iPhone 7 when they released this red color it wasn't it's not as beautiful as this like it's glass so the color let me let's, let's focus on to the color it's shiny and beautiful that red is so bright I'm gonna show you guys in different lighting settings so you guys can get a better look that's brighter light a little bit brighter I'm trying to get back to the darker light okay and normally the iPhone at the bottom it would have Normally at the bottom of the iPhone, normally at the bottom of the, normally at the bottom of the iPhone, there will be like some serial number stuff, but all it says is products red. You know, shameless self promo. It's not gonna focus, but let's try to focus it. Shameless self promo on Apple's part. <laughs> there we go. But this phone is pretty heavier. I don't want to hear people commenting, duh, it's all glass. Uh, I don't care. I'm going to say it's heavier. It's heavier. And um, instead of making the Apple logo red, I think it's red on a 7 Plus. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure. It's silver. And also the charging port and the two screws are also silver. I guess they did that to correlate it, you know. And right here is silver, so it looks pretty cool that way. And the side are still that kind of, I don't know what kind of material this is, that metal, that matte metal. 
And for the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 7, another difference is the camera and the true tone screen. The screen is way brighter than my old phone. It's not even, I don't think it's on full brightness. That wasn't even full brightness. Like this phone is beautiful. It's bright, very vibrant. Everything is beautiful. Um, as I was saying, the antennas aren't, they stop right here on the, they stop right here on the sides. They don't go fully around like on the previous iPhone models. I'm pretty sure they'll probably come out with the iPhone X version of this, but don't quote me on that. I don't know. I didn't even know this came out until I seen it on YouTube. And I was like, I have to get it. I have to. I was gonna, I was gonna get the the regular black, and then I seen this. I said, I have, n I have not seen anybody with this phone. Like, I have to have it in person. I seen it on YouTube. Obviously, the tech people have it already, but you know what I mean. So I ordered a clear case from Amazon. The case that I have on right now is from Mine Seven Plus. You know how these clear cases get yellow and crusty after a while. This one's getting real crusty. So I'm gonna apply my sticker. I'm gonna apply my screen protector on now. Cause I'm not having no cracked phone issues at all. Cause if you replace the non, if you replace a different screen than the iPhone screen, it looks pretty crappy. I learned that on my seven three times, my seven plus three times. But I am enjoying this phone so far. I love how bright it looks, even with the thing is down. Like I love it. Probably because I had a crappy screen on my seven. Cause I had it, I used third party screens on it. But so far, I'm liking the eight plus. I can't really say I can't really say I can't really say that you guys should go out and get it because I only had it for a few hours, literally. But it's pretty similar to the seven plus, so it shouldn't be a big difference. Only difference is the camera, the portrait mode is different, as well as the screen, and it's supposed to be faster because it has an A11 Bionic chip. So yeah, but I'm liking it. But I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. And later.